Hello, welcome to Virus Q247. My name is Henry Waters. If this is your first time in this channel, you haven't subscribed yet, do so by hitting that red subscription down below. So when I release new videos, you'll be the first to see it. Okay, in today's tutorial, I'll be teaching you how you can be able to install the libraries so you can be able to have access to the Stripe API using Composer. So to do this, first thing we're going to do is we're going to install Composer. We're going to download it from this website, getcomposer.org forward slash download. So when you head over to this website here, when you get to this page, you click on composer-setup.exe. When you click on this and download it, you should get it in your download, which is here. So when you do that, you're supposed to have something like composer iPhone setup, you double click on it and follow the uh, prompts. Okay, that is very, very easy. So, once you have installed the composer, next thing you're going to do, you're going to head over to your search bar right down here and type in CMD, which is what command prompt. So, when you type that, this should pop out. Then you click on double click on it. So when you head over here, next thing you're going to do here is to type in cd which is what command directory and where you will be, this is, then you, what you're going to do next is to specify where you want the folder you want to download and install. So where we will be needing that will be documents, we want it to be saved in our documents, okay, which is, which is here. Okay, we want it to be in our document once we do that. So after that, we're going to hit enter. Once we hit enter, next thing we're going to do is go ahead over to Stripe website under accepted payment under this setup stripe. We are going to copy this line of code. Okay, this is what will be used to install the PHP library via Composer. Then we we'll open our command prompt, then we we'll paste it there then hit enter so next thing we're going to do is just to allow it to uh, download successfully okay so we just exercise patient for it to download it's installing now all right i think it has installed Never mind this uh, yellow highlight. Sometimes it happens because I've done it before. So sometimes you may get this if you have done it before. Alright, so we are going to check it. We we'll head over to our document now. As you can see, it was downloaded successfully. Okay, here is the vendor folder. So we won't, we won't be needing this. So you delete that. Delete this. So this is what we'll be needing here okay if you learned a new thing please don't forget to subscribe this is your first time and like this video okay now next tutorial we're teaching you how you can be able to make use of stripe in order to accept payments on your website stick with me with this channel i will see you guys next time